Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the third group of protozoans which are termed as ciliata. Before this, we have talked about two groups. First, we have talked about the zooflagellates which have got the presence of locomotory organ that is flagella. The second group we have talked about was the sarcodina which has a locomotory organ which is known as pseudopodia or also it is known as false feet. Now let us look into what this ciliata group of organisms have. So ciliata they are considered as one of the most advanced and most diversified group of organisms. So they are quite diverse, they have got quite diverse group of organisms included in this type of group called ciliata and they are also considered the most advanced. They are mostly single celled but they have got different organelles which are specific for different functions. So for performing different functions they have got specific different different organ organelles. Mostly they are found in fresh water and not in marine type of environments. They are endoparasites which means that they are parasitic in nutrition, they are dependent on host for their nutrition and they can reside inside the cells or the body of the host organism and also they can be pathogenic which means they can harm the host in which they are living. They have a presence of a structure which is known as cilia. So what are cilia? Cilia are very small fine hair like projections present on the surface of a cell. So those are cilia which has the property of beating in coordination. So they have a large number of cilia and all these cilia they can beat in coordinated movement with each other. The cilia of course they help in locomotion in addition to that they also help in collection of food like that of the pseudopodia which we have discussed or the false feet. They also help in food collection. Now these type of ciliated protozoans they have got specific structures which are known as cytosome. They are specific structures which actually help in the feeding habits of these type of cells. Now the ciliata they can show both sexual and asexual mode of reproduction. In case of asexual mode of reproduction it is mostly by binary fission which we know is nothing but where the parent cell it divides into equally two daughter cells. So two equal daughter cells are formed which is nothing but binary fission. Now they can also reproduce through sexual reproduction. Here unlike the sarcodina which was actually reproducing sexually by the method of syngamy, here they reproduce by the method known as conjugation. Now what is, what is conjugation? In conjugation what happens? Two cells they come together but they do not fuse unlike that of the syngamy. Here a conjugation tube is formed with the help of cilia or pili like projections. Now through this tube the uh, specific genes are crossed among each other or passed from one, uh, one of the cells to the other and vice versa. So this is a type of sexual reproduction which happens by the method of conjugation. Uh, it also shows nuclear dimorphism which means various forms or shapes of the nucleus can be present in case of these type of ciliata. The, the freshwater uh, ciliates which we have discussed which we are discussing they have got contractile vacuoles. What is the function of these contractile vacuoles? They actually help in osmoregulation. They help in maintaining the osmoregulatory things uh, within the cell. Osmotic pressure is balanced between the environment and the cells. So they help in maintaining the osmoregulation. They have presence of special structures which are known as trichocytes. What are these? They actually help in defense and very important function they help in anchorage with the host. So in this video we have talked about a group of protozoans which are known as uh, ciliata and we have seen the presence of cilia in this type of organisms. We have also talked about the various characteristics of this group of organisms of protozoa which are ciliata. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.